I am in my garden, surrounded by roses, which have all come out just on the week I'm supposed to go to sea. Drives you nuts really, doesn't it? You tend these things all winter long, and I never get to see them. And the only reason I'm seeing them this year is because the wind is stuck solidly in the southwest. I want to go down to Ushant, down to the mouth of the English Channel, where I'm going to be working on the pilot book this year, the Shell Channel pilot, which Ros and I do together. It's our best job, actually. We absolutely love doing it. It's great fun. The publishers are gentlemen, and the whole thing's a pleasure. But we've got to start down in the west, really, and then just come up with the tide, because we want to come up the French coast, and it's much better to come up with the flood tide behind you, because then when you arrive at all the lock gates and the sills and everything, the tide's up. Much better than chasing your tail trying to get there just before the tide drains out. So we've got to be down west, and it's set in the west, so... Um, what are we going to do? Well, it makes me think of the old days when we were getting ready to do ocean cruises. We'd be all set there, ready to rock and roll, boats stocked up, sails bent on, fuel in the tanks and water overflowing. And what happens? Wind smack in the southwest, and there it stays. And of course, all the ne'er do wells and the stay at homes and the dockside loafers, they all come along and they say, What? You not gone yet? Implication, of course, that if they were in charge, they'd have been long gone. But, you know, you have to take it on the chin, really. It got so bad, though, sometimes, that we'd just slip the moorings and go to the Isle of Wight. We were on the Humble River in those days, and we'd just clear out, go to the Isle of Wight, Newtown Creek, or somewhere like that, just to get away from everybody. And there we'd sit, having a quiet glass of wine, waiting till the wind finally came fair. Of course, in those days, there was no passage weather or internet forecast telling you that uh, you had seven days of southwesterlies coming, which is what it's telling me at the moment. Um, you'd just look at the sky, listen to the shipping forecast, which would give you 24 hours, and then you'd get on with it, and you'd live one day at a time. And, you know, I think maybe that's what we're going to have to do. It'll be a shame to leave the old roses and the song thrushes behind, but my pal up the road's going to come in and look after the roses, and the birds will still be here when we get home. So, with the blessing, next week I'll be talking to you from somewhere far more exciting than my backyard.